swinging the temperature of things to the defensive side of the ball. Yes, the sir. first thing that we got to talk about first and foremost before we speak on any player over there, mm -hmm. got to get flowers or flowers are due. Aaron Glenn. Yes, sir. Aaron Glenn faced so much scrutiny from half of this fan base last season. It was disgusting. <laughs> knowing that the man didn't have a complete defense over there, knowing we didn't have pieces available, yeah, people still call for his job consistent, mm -hmm. I, 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 consistently, man. Um, he has the pieces now. Yep, he can play man defense now. The defense is the reason you won this game because they kept Kyler Murray under control. Exactly, they kept him from running all over the place. They kept Marvin Harrison Jr. Even though he got one touchdown, they kept him mm -hmm. under control. Mm -hmm. The defense did everything that you needed. Yes. Aaron Glenn deserves a mountain of, of credit and respect for that. Bro, 100%, bro. He shut the Cardinals offense down in the second half. Straight up. Kyler, you can see how frustrated Kyler was, you know, outwardly in his face. You could just see it. And here's an here's interesting point, too, bro. The Lions, they didn't score a point in the third quarter, right? They were still up 10 points because the Cardinals also didn't score a point in the third quarter. So we should be 3-0 in my opinion. I think the reason we're not is because of our offense. You know, we've given up the first three games of the season, we've allowed 20, 20, and 10. With this offense, we should win all three of those games. There's no reason we yeah. should lose any of those. So he's doing what he, he's doing his job, bro. He's doing his job. I don't wanna hear any criticism about Aaron Glenn, not right now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's great to see our defense consistent consistently get pressure like that yeah uh you know we it's something we've been asked for over the last couple of years and to see them get in the backfield you know the cardinals are a smart team they got rid of that football fast you know you right. didn't see eight yeah. and they get a slew of sacks uh these teams Only are one. smarter than that man yeah these mm -hmm. teams are smarter than that they're not gonna let the quarterback sit back there and hold the football right uh but the pressure was there and the pressure was there all game I mean, it made Kyler Murray think faster than he wanted to at times. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why he threw us a few bones out there. Shout out to Kirby Joseph. Yes, sir. That big time pick in the end zone, man. Yeah. Um, just seems like he's, he's always right there. Even Brian Branch almost had a pick, man, but him and Kirby yeah. ran into each other. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's that's Kyler Murray, man. He's going to run around. He's going to throw some balls down the field that he shouldn't. He's going to throw in the double coverage. Mm -hmm. You just got to make sure that you're sound enough and you're in the right position to go and make a play, you know, and that's yeah. all I wanted to see from this defense. And they did that. It was big time. I mean, it was just great. I want to give a shout out to the secondary because there were a handful of plays this game where we were containing Kyler Murray. Right. But he still had time in that pocket. Right. And, and a lot of times with broken plays like that, that's when you're leaving, you know, you're kind of hanging your secondary out to dry. But our secondary made him hold that ball for a long time you know what i mean so i, I want to give a shout out to them because there were times when the pass uh rush was getting there but there were times when it wasn't and those times yeah. when it wasn't and he had time in that pocket and he was contained there was still nobody open a lot of times so yeah. i really want to give credit to that secondary for that for sure unsung heroes on the defense man i got to give it to my linebacker room you know, we had okay. a big blow today because we didn't have Anzalone. He tackles everybody, he plays a big part in our defense. And our guy, Jack Campbell, uh, we've seen some Rodrigo. Of course, we've yeah. seen Jalen Reeves Maven besides the one play that he got the you know flag. Yeah. Um, they held it down. They, they held did. it down. They uh, could have they could have killed us in the middle of the field today, but they held it down. We made sure that that didn't happen. You know, that that front unit man does a lot for every unit behind him. Mm -hmm. And you know, we was able to keep them under control and only hold them to 10 points was absolutely crazy. Yes. To only hold them to 10 points today. Yeah. I mean, we, we held Robert Harrison Jr. to what, five for 64? He got a touch, but compared to last week, he had like 130 and two. Two touchdowns. You know what I mean? So just we cut his production from last week in half. You know, Terry on I don't know. He's struggling with penalties right now. You know, he's still trying to figure out how to play this game with the NFL level in certain spots, but he's still very sticky. Right. I saw a lot of the incomplete uh, passes his way this game, right. which was I was happy to see. I think he's going to be a really good corner for us long term if he continues to just get the reps in and grow because he's showing signs already that once he figures it out, he's going to be really good. Terry on Arnold. Okay. Um, get a does he have a chance? Him. Here's the thing. Hmm. You know, yeah, he may have a pass interference once a game, whatever, but he's sticky. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the majority of the game. You know what I'm saying? What's got to happen for him in order for him to win that award, he has to start getting some picks. You know, and he has opportunities out there if he can turn his head around right. at time. That's where he has to get better. That's where the improvement is. He sticks to guys, but turning your head around and playing the football is where he's got to improve in the league. And that's what I was going to say. Another thing that needs to come down is those flags. These yeah. passing interference that has to, if he's going to have a shot, that has to drop. That has to drop. But yeah, he's, I mean, he has a shot. I think he's got a chance. He's getting the opportunity. That's what's helping him too. So we'll see. Yeah. Just want to answer my guy's uh, question right here. He's fine. He's fine. He probably could have went today, but the Lions are being careful with the situation. He'll be ready for next game. Yeah. Uh, Dan Campbell said earlier in the week that, you know, there was a, a chance for Anzalone to play. He was trending in the right direction, but I'm probably sure the Lions just wanted to be set, safe and, you know, hold them and see what they really got. Yeah. As far as our young guys behind them. So this was an opportunity game for them to do some some scaling and they did that. Yeah. But Anzalone will be back next game. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need him. I think the refs are picking on Arnold because he's a rookie and he's very touchy. Yeah, yeah, expect it. That's totally yep. expected. You know, he's used to being touchy in Alabama. You're in the NFL now. You're a rookie. You got to earn that respect first. Yeah, you, know you got to earn it. You can't do what you see. You know, guys like Carlton Davis do. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Yet. You got to earn that in this league, and he'll learn that. Yep. You know, he'll learn that because a lot of the PI has been some weak ass PIs. Yeah, bro. So, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, the one today was obvious though. You, you got to turn oh, yeah. around. Yeah, you know, you he didn't get his head around. around at all. Yeah, yeah, at all. So you mm -hmm. can't just go guard a receiver like that unless you're the exactly. Lions in Dallas and your name is Pettigrew. Oh, Pettigrew, you can't yeah. get away doing stuff like that. So and they pick it up. <laughs> they didn't not. That's the thing. They didn't not call it. They called it and then pick. Let me not start. Let me not start. <laughs> Let me not start. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, oh, that yeah, was, was absolute bull. That yeah. was absolute bull, man. Terrible. Man. That was terrible. There was some questionable calls this game, and it was a couple of no calls this game because I see some some atrocious holding calls uh, yeah. on our with our defensive alignment, man. So absolute big beast is what he looks like. Reader, yeah. When yes, when Olympic with Neil went down, him and, and Onzarike held it down. They still yeah, cannot yeah. run the football at all whatsoever. Bro. They cannot run the football today, bro. <laughs> yeah, our, our run defense has been stellar. Man. James Conner, I, I believe James Conner had 120 in a touch last week. He was a non-factor this week at all. They they even stopped going to him. Like, in the first quarter, they, it's almost like they saw, okay, yeah, we're not going to be the run the ball today. <laughs> and they really it kind of stopped going to him. So I'm not sure how many carries he had, but he was a non-factor completely today. Um, I was a little bit concerned about this because Marvin Harrison, Marvin Harrison Jr. is a beast. Mm -hmm. Um... Like I said, he had 130 and two touchdowns last week. So, Terion really did hold his own. He had the penalty, you know, here and there. But overall, like I said, they were throwing his way a lot. And it was a lot of incompletions his way this week. Yeah. So, I was really happy to see how he was resilient this week. He was very he resilient. Try. He didn't get frustrated. Right. He didn't he get frustrated. flustered. He didn't get outside of his game. He, he didn't get too aggressive because he was upset. He just kept playing his game. Yeah. yeah. Good call. And that's, that's why, you know, I love what the rookie is doing. I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. Um, we haven't seen this from a rookie corner in a minute. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I think he's definitely going to be an absolute stuff for us. I do too. Very, very, very near future. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> we got a, we got a dog room back there, man, in our secondary. We got a secondary got full of dogs. Brian Branch went out and Meek Robertson came right in. And, and yeah. We, yeah. Got a, we, got a, we got some studs, man. And hopefully, we got to get Rakestraw uh, back too. Yeah, we still got to get Rakestraw. We got to get Iffy back. Iffy, Iffy you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I said, we got some dogs back there, man. A lot mm -hmm. of great depth. Kudos to Brad Holmes. Excellent yes. job, man. For sure. Excellent job for creating depth. Y'all do know Kirby Joseph will be leading the league in picks. Yes, okay. If Branch didn't knock the ball. Yeah, facts. Facts. Yeah. Kirby's been playing well, man. Playing very, very well. Gotta give him a shout out, too. Got a nose for the football. Gotta, he, he, he does. He can yeah. catch. Yeah, he's got hands. He's got hands. <laughs> Let's see. Do y'all think Rick Shaw will be good? I don't know. I, like, I have because we haven't really seen him. I think he could be. I just haven't really had a chance to really watch him extensively on this level. You know, what do you think? Hell yes. Okay. Even though just watching them guys in training camp and watching them in preseason, yeah, you know, for a short limited time that he did play the season. Sometimes when you watch somebody, you just can see it. And yeah, with Rick Shaw, you. you can see it. 
it, it's I mean he's he's probably a little bit even stickier than Terion is. He's very smart. He has a nose for the football as well. He does. I really hope he gets healthy and I hope he gets the opportunity to get out on that field a little bit more because I got high hopes for Rake Straw. Respect to Lions from Seattle. Serious team again. Appreciate yeah. that. Appreciate, Appreciate that, that, TD. Yeah, y'all doing yeah. y'all thing over there too. Yeah, y'all are. Y'all are. Let's talk again, man. Let's talk again a week from today, man. This would be a top 10 defense. I could see it. Hell yeah. They, they, yeah. I could see it. I mean, our weakness was a secondary as of last year. And we see <laughs> we see yeah. they've done so far this year. So you look, you know, from game to game, the see the receiving groups that we face so far, plus yeah. some of the quarterbacks that we face so far. Yeah. Yeah. Top ten for sure this year. <laughs> Is Carlton Davis a concern? Yeah, I don't no. I don't know. I, I think he he had Why? seven tackles. Yeah, what was the concern? <laughs> I, that, that, like I said, that PI, that PI was bullshit. That like, was, what? yeah, he played an yeah, amazing was, game. He yeah. he looked like a, a number one for sure today. Yeah. <laughs> we need to take care of business, bro. Because yep. just looking at the, the schedule situation, man, just for the Green Bay Packers, for some reason, just I just hate the fact that, you know, they usually get easy schedules. Theirs get a little, it gets a little bit tougher, uh, yeah. the second part of it, but. You know, I don't want any opportunity for the, anybody to take the division from us. Exactly. Exactly. You know, we need don't to get, get into the playoffs and be comfortable and 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 have our sights set on get to the Super Bowl. Yep. We don't need to be struggling you know, at the of the barrel, you know, and, and watching the standings that. and all yeah. this different nonsense. Need. Yep. Distractions. Distractions. Yeah. Yep. Let's I'm with you, bro. Stack these games early. You know? Yeah. Had the one loss. That's fine. Let's go get three or four in a row. Yeah. 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 No more, no more than four losses this season. Right. No more than four. Yeah. Is that is that so is that where you looking have us? Schedule, yeah, like yeah. Looking at their schedule is very okay. capable. 13 and 4 is where you have us yeah. at. Okay. Yeah. Our biggest matchups left is uh Dallas and the uh, 49ers. And the Niners. Uh, and you look and yeah. you look at those two teams, both yeah. lost. Yeah. So most of the rest of okay. it is division guys and you know, a team here and there, but those are the biggest games left on the schedule, if you ask me.